Did you know that you can use Lightburn without a laser? This will let you try out the software while you're waiting for your laser to arrive or use a separate computer for design work. To get started, download and install the appropriate version of Lightburn for your operating system from our download and trial page. The first time you open Lightburn, you'll need to enter your license key if you've purchased one or select start trial to begin your 30 day free trial. The next window is the device window where you will create a device profile. This tells Lightburn what settings to show when you are creating jobs. Click create manually to open the new device wizard. The first page will ask you to choose a controller. Unless you know the controller for a machine that you're interested in, select Gerbil and click next. Click next again to select serial slash USB. You can name your device or leave it set to the default Gerbil. For the dimensions, any size will work, but 400 by 400 millimeters is fairly common for diode lasers. The next page will ask about origin and if you want to auto home. We're going to leave them as default for now. You can always edit this later if needed. Click next and finish to finalize the device profile. In the device list, you will see your new laser profile. Click OK to close out of the device window and you are now able to begin designing in Lightburn. Device profiles are saved and available to choose from each time you open Lightburn. When you do get your laser, you'll want to delete the test profile. Lightburn will then prompt you to create a device and you can use the Find My Laser tool. This will ensure the device is set up correctly for your machine. Links to our beginner project are available in the description below. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.